Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Santa Stream. Today we're going to take a look at the Rosetta Collider. So, Rosetta is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, for anyone who's not quite sure what it is, it's a suite, it's a number of apps within one app, and that one app is called Rosetta. So, if you go to the App Store, there'll be links popping up and stuff. And check it out. It's, let me just, before I get into what I've done here, as you can see, I have a Syntronic. Um, I'll get into the routing in a sec, but just let me quickly do this. If you buy Rosetta, you get if it's an audio unit extension. And it doesn't make, here are all of uh, Brand Boss's uh, marvellous apps. But these, all these here, Rosetta, start to arpeggio, goes all the way down baseline. Cells, Collider, LFO, Particles, Rhythm, and Rosetta XOX and Rosetta XYZ. These are all part of just one app. You buy that one app, you get all these. Now, they don't make sounds on their own, although they say instruments. What they do is control other inter-app audio apps. So they're, they're a MIDI controller suite. Okay, they're very, very, very clever uh, how they work. So just as a thing, first of all, you choose, ignore the effects at the moment, but choose an instrument you want to use. Uh, I'm using AUV3s, but works with Interap Audio as well. It's, as long as it, it's inside uh, like AUM or Cubases, I think AUM is the best, I think, for the Rosetta Suite. But you choose the instrument you want to use. I'm using Syntronic here which is set to do a, well, a, a ARP here for this particular sound. And the, here, where your little routing is, you tap this and you set it to the channel that you have Collider in. Now, I have, I have a Collider in channel 2 and a Collider in channel 6. The Collider in channel 2, I tick here because that is what I want the actual Syntronic to run into and I want Collider to play Syntronic. So you open up Collider. Now you don't have to do any particularly clever routing with any, nothing at all. It, as long as your instrument is routed to Collider, then you're gonna be good to go for this, this demo kind of thing. Okay, moving along here, we have Brahms FM, Ruzemaker FM, which is a drum module. Um, and that has been played by Rosetta Rhythm here okay so everything's set on autoplay as well now i've done all the demos on rosetta so you can check them out as well and then moving further along i've basilicious here been played by another collider so if we look at the routing for basilicious you will see that it's routed to channel six collider channel six okay oh and if you like the uh this, the FM, was routed to Rosetta Rhythm here, like this. That's it. I've also used uh, Red Anton Corvus, excellent uh, maxima, uh, maximizer to boost the volume on anything that's, that's a little bit quiet and I want to just boost. And I don't want to have to start driving levels into the twilight zone here. I don't like going past 0, 0.0 dB. Um, that's just the thing, you know, I think I like to keep it safe. I like to keep it under control. Then also underneath here, I have a dub station 2 uh, from Audio Damage. And that is, at the moment, that is out of the chain. Okay, that is out of the chain. Then moving along on the base delicious, I have another maximizer just to boost the volume a little bit. And then I have the marvellous Lo-Fi Dirt here by uh, MSX2. Stand, and um, this is incredible for creating that lo fi dirt feel. I've also done video on that as well, so you can check that out and all. And that's out the chain at the moment, which I will drop in uh, when it's going. Now, to start all this off, all I need to do is hit play up here. I can set that at the beginning, and it will play. Um, but that's how you get Collider to trigger. So, if I was to just at the moment mute these here actually i don't need to mute them do i all i need to do is solo this one let me just solo this uh i don't need to do anything with the uh sounds of mute or solo on collide because all collider is doing is controlling syntronic so if i press play okay you can see if i take maximizer out it just loses a little bit of its punch 
So let's just turn that down and look at what Collider is doing. I have it set on a minor pentatonic A. So A minor pentatonic. You can set all these different scales and things you can hear. So if I was to change the scale. But I'm gonna leave it set on minor pentatonic. I can generate a new pattern. Here where it says Hadron, so it's like a Hadron Collider, these things are bouncing around this grid. You can control the amount of Hadrons you have here. So you can watch this number count down. I'll leave it on 10. And you can also control your grid size. Okay, and then you can control the gate length. And then you can control the clock divisions too. And you can also control the pitch. It'll just go in the open octaves. And you can control the velocity as well. Or you can also nudge and it'll nudge them along like and then you can just either have them triggering via MIDI or auto playing when the thing plays. <clears throat> you can have collision and bounce on or off which will make the sound different. You can have the collision sound on or off or you can basically switch it off. So that's a general basic idea of how it works. Okay, so that's how, and then you can, if you want to save a particular preset, you can, it doesn't come with any, because there's no real need. If you set up something that you like, you can think. Now the cool thing with AUM as well is, it, once you get this whole thing set up, to save messing around with it ever again, and you want to recall it some other time, you all, all you need to do is save and put save and yes I want to overwrite that because it's just there and then you can recall it anytime you want and the speed it loads up is incredible so so let's unsolo this now <laughs> some more uh, hadrons into the thing that's controlling Basilicious. And let's drop in lo-fi dead. So I have a filter station <clears throat> connected to the Ruse Maker drum machine, so we're going to drop that in as well. And I would suggest wearing headphones. And then we're going to drop the dub station in.
But you see, you can jam around for absolutely ages, and all that was, you can see, it was running about 40, what was it? 48%. Didn't go above 50, really, and we've got, what, loads of stuff, loads of stuff going on. So I could even add more if I wanted to and really get a really get a super mix going. But like I said, you know, it's easy to set this stuff up. It takes a little bit of thinking about sometimes. Now, the difference between Collider is very similar in its operation to uh, another, uh, another one called uh, Particles. So I'll tell you what we'll do, just to show you the difference between Collider and Particles, We'll solo the actual, we'll take this off as well, and we'll... This is Collider. We set our key. And we'll swap this with Particles. So Collider's a little more melodic, Particles is a little more random. Sort of thing. Let me just show you particles. Uh, go extension. So Rosetta particles here. Now the routing will be the same. Well, actually it won't will because I've just changed it. So I need to route this to particles now. Okay, so, but we can still... Set all our note ranges and velocities and etc. And and it will still be in the key. If I say A minor, uh, minor pentatonic. This is still all going to fit in with the rest of me bits and pieces. Um, so you see particles vary is different particles is a, a lot more random you're not really sure where it's going but with with um what's it called collider you're m more controlled in how your your melodic the the, the melody is going to go kind of thing it's going to be a little bit more melodic than than particles so each has their own kind of thing going on but that it's irrelevant because you're not paying any extra for you once you buy Rosetta, you get all those, you get all those um, apps within the MIDI suite that I showed you. So there you go. Uh, yeah, top job. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a Patreon. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was very cool and easy to set. Honestly, I set this up five minutes before the video, just loaded in Syntron because. Because um, the Rosetta, the MIDI suite, because Particles and Rhythm and Collider is doing all the work. It's doing all the work for you. All you've got to do is make sure that your keys and scales are set for the same if you're using instruments. And everything's going to fit in, you know. And then you can set your gate lengths and your, your amount of notes, etc. Uh, and stuff like that to, to suit the track as you're going. Anyway, guys. I will see you later. Cheers.